always appreciate <laughs> everyone coming. Thankful for the crowd tonight, late night, late night for they were loud at the end, and I appreciate it very much. Um, I'm happy and proud for our guys. We've had a tough stretch. We've gotten through injuries. We've gotten through a lot of different things, and they willed a win tonight. These two guys were were awesome. I thought we got off to a good start early too, which we haven't been lately. I uh, have a ton of respect for Northwestern. It's one of the best programs in the league. The coach does a great job, and they get good players, and they made plays down the stretch, too. We just we made a few more, and we got contributions from everybody. So it was uh, a nice team win for us today. Steve, what did you think of the final offensive sequence for your regulation when Corey hits that one shot? Well, I mean, I just, you know, I thought Corey was in a, in a great groove today, and he knows I'm going to say this too. The heck with the offense. I thought his defense was spectacular the whole night. And, and when we needed to switch with Lindsey, and I thought he got through screens, and I thought he did an unbelievable job. And you know he was confident, and he had a little swagger tonight, and that's how I want him to play. Uh, but I thought everybody, Gene, made some big plays for us. And, you know, gave us great energy. Candido came in, did some great things. Issa, some steals and some. Uh, big threes, Shaq gets a steal. Not many steals come in his way usually. You know, so a lot of good things, and we made our free throws. I get a million emails a week about free throw shooting, so uh, I hope for one night I won't get that. And uh, we made them down the stretch. I think we're seven for seven down the stretch to kind of ice the game. So. Steve, how much of an energy boost has it been to get Eugene and Mike back? Uh, I mean, just tremendous. Forget about the numbers they do. They're tough. Um, they're, our, they're very good team defenders. Uh, Mike's a veteran, and he on a team that doesn't have a lot of veterans. Gene's a veteran too, so um, great to have him back, you know. And uh, inserted him in the lineup, and, and thought he gave us tremendous energy, and you know, really, really helped us in, in a lot of ways. Steve, I, I think aside from two two, the Corey shot broke. I was the only other tie. How were you able to keep the guys kind of focused and not letting them get away? With yeah. The We've, we've been hanging in there in these games, and you know I knew if we just kept plugging away on the defensive end, we'd get enough opportunities to score. And he makes a bunch of huge plays down the stretch on both ends of the floor. Gene makes a big play at the end, 1.2 seconds, um, you know, to make sure they didn't score on that play. So, um, you know, I just think both of them they hung in there, and, and they were tough, and the crowd gave us a good lift, and I thought everyone was ready to play. It's about 12 o'clock. It's a little late. Well, this is early for you. <laughs> Even the first half, Northwestern shot 50, about 56%. The second half, no overtime, they were 24%. What was the message at halftime? What were the well, I mean, we were we were concerned with their big guys. They had 18 of their first half points, and and uh, you know I thought Falzone came in and gave them good looks. And Pardon's a good player. I mean, I was very concerned with in the post, but they got a lot of perimeter guys that can shoot it too. So they have a lot of a lot of players, so if you start doubling in the post, you get problems. So I felt comfortable, and Shaq and Candido said they can guard him one-on-one -on -one in the post, and Duke, and I thought we did a great job in the second half, limited to four points. And, and I thought we ID'd Falzone a few times, too, where we lost him in the first half. Steve, why the uh, DNP for Freeman? You know what, just the coach's decision, trying to get some energy and trying to change up the lineup, and Eugene back, and I, I went with the guys that you know I thought could win us the game, and I liked all the guys that got in. So, um, you know, it's just a game adjustment. Corey, can you, can you take us through the final shot in regulation? I think there was a timeout with 18 seconds. Is that the shot that you wanted? Mm -mm. We drew up. Um, I can't tell you the play name, but we drew up a play. Um, it was for Issa. Um, he wasn't he wasn't open and get the shot, and um, then uh, it's for Geo Nets. It just really broke off, and you know, Gio didn't get a good shot, and I just ended up really open. Like I didn't understand how open I was. So you know, shot the ball, God let it go in, and overtime. Uh, coach, he said was two for six from three, but the two threes he did hit were in the four times. Just when you constantly tell him to just keep shooting. Keep shooting. Yeah, I mean, I thought he was getting good looks too. I thought we kind of attacked that zone in two days of prep. It's not a lot of prep, and. You know, I liked even the ones he missed, you know, and Issa can shoot the ball, and I think Gio can too, and, and Corey, you know, certainly, and Mike came in and gave us a, a, a lift too. We didn't have that for, I don't know how many games, sound like a zillion games not having Mike. So, um, you know, we have enough guys that can, can make shots, and, and I thought Issa hung with it, and he always plays pretty good defense, and he had to work on that end of the floor today too, and then he grabbed some big rebounds. So, you know, again, uh, Great day for him, and, and I think everyone, everyone that checked in, really helped us. And Eugene, could you take us through the uh, final defensive sequence when you got a piece of that uh, layup? 
Uh, I never know it was from Ant Man, honestly, y'all. Uh, I just read it and I see them go off the screen and I automatically knew I had to jump. And then once he caught it, he tried to go up and you had to block it. And that's how I got it. See, what do you think of the way your bigs defended? Like, obviously, Eugene's oh, active, but Shaq did a lot off the bench, too. You know, I, I, liked, I liked all of them. I thought, you know, Candido grabs eight rebounds. I mean, makes some big plays down the stretch. Shaq, you know, big in the post in the second half. And, uh, you know, got some good minutes, you know, out of him. And Duke, Duke will wrestle, too, in the post. So, you know, I, th I thought, again, the bigs did a good job. And Pardons are really good. He's been a problem for a lot of people. So and we did a good job of guarding him one-on-one -on -one as best we could. You know, we didn't want to double down and do, leave any of those shooters open. They get really good shooters at all spots. Steve, you guys had struggled with turnovers the last few games. You only turned it over eight times tonight. What went into that? Well, I mean, I thought they, you know, guys were locked in, and you know, I wanted to get second shots up against their zone too. And you know, we've been pretty good taking care of the ball all year. We've had a few games where it's kind of slipped away, but when these guys are locked in, you know, and having Mike back and having Eugene back, you know, Eugene's a low turnover guy um, and can make some plays too. So, um, you know, those help us in those areas.